Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. We're going to go ahead and finish off our hobby box of 2016 Panini Torque. Probably not going to complete the set with this box because I've been noticing a pattern and I got my list off to the side here of what I need for that set. And I've noticed almost every card that I've pulled in the base set has either been one number above or one number below of what I need. And we are going to open up two more packs of 91 Pro Set as well, just to give you guys a little bit more uh, to look at here. We talked about these packs. Uh, Rick Mass, Rusty Wallace there on the cover. Got them blurred out because you have a Skull and a Miller sponsorship. That, that one almost just fell right apart. But if you're going to start off a pack, start it off with Richard Petty. 200 career wins, 7 titles, 7 Daytona 500s in 1,184 or 1,185 starts, depending on your source. Uh, one of those is one of those dis one of those starts is kind of disputed, like Bobby Allison's win at Bowman Gray, where he won in, or actually was it Wilkesboro? I can't remember where Bobby won, but he won in a Grand American car, is credited for a Grand American win, not a Grand National win. Petty had a start in a similar situation, may have been in a convertible for the convertible points, but not listed as a Cup Series or a Grand National start back then. Yes, NASCAR did have a convertible division for a number of years. Marvin Panch. Richard Broom, this is going to be almost identical to the pack we had the other day. Felix Sabatis, who uh, sold his interest of the team a few years ago to retire. Dick Brooks, again, we talked about this, was taken 1991 at the Legends Race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Brett Bodine drove a number of years for Kenny Bernstein. That is Ted Musgraves, Radius Motorsports Pontiac. Ray and Diane DeWitt and D.K. Ulrich were co-owners. There's Ken Schrader. There's Derek Cope's number 10 Pure Later Chevrolet, owned by Bob Whitcomb. He won the 1990 Daytona 500 as well as the 1990 Budweiser 500 at Dover. Bob Wellborn. Don't know much about Bob. That is one of the cards in the Legends set. Chuck Ryder, we did talk about him. And Dale and Ned Jarrett. Ned is on the back of this card. Be kind of fun to get them to sign the front and the back. Go to pack number two for our... 1991 Pro Set rip today. Maurice Petty. Was it, I can't remember if it was 2020 or 2021 when Maurice passed away. Uh, I know over on Danny's channel, he had got a TTM in the mail like the week that Maurice passed, and it was just, I remember Danny opened it because he, I think he thought it was going to be from Richard, but it was from Maurice. He had forgot that he had sent out, but very, very emotional moment there on his channel. Have to look that one up. Pete Hamilton. Who do we have here? Paul Budmore. We talked about him. He is a driver. No relation to co or to team owner Budmore. Walter Budmore. There's Donnie Allison. What uniform does he have here? Really can't tell if this is his Hawaiian Tropic. That's a late 70s hat and a late 70s Winston Cup logo. So... This might be with his die guard years, or this might be during his Haas Ellington years. Really can't tell. Ralph Segraves uh, was instrumental in the Winston sponsorship with NASCAR. Don Miller, co-owner of Penske Racing South with Roger Penske and Rusty Wallace at the time. Cale Yarborough. See here, he's got the first National Cities Traveler's Check sponsorship, so that's probably going to be 77 or 78. Because one year he had Holly Farms, another year he had Bush Beer, and seventy Bush Beer came on board in 79. So it's going to be 76, 77, 78 thereabouts. Larry Hedrick, former owner of the number 41 Cup car for a number of years. Dave Marcus, who is always great at picking up random sponsors. There you see High Point Betting. And then Mike Miller's Big Apple Market, which was somewhere in Pennsylvania. Big Apple Market sponsored Dave in 91, I think, and maybe 92 as well. High Point Betting was a company, obviously, out of High Point, North Carolina. Uh, sponsored a lot of drivers through the years, especially in the Bush Series. I seem to remember they sponsored Richard Lassiter a lot in the Bush Series. Paul Goldsmith. I need to send to him, so I might set that one aside. Jimmy Means. Alka-Seltzer Pontiac. Ricky Rudd. And there's our little entry thing. So I'm going to set these cards off to the side with my other 91 Pro Set cards that I have tucked safely away. 
And I need to find me a couple more Paul Goldsmith cards to send off TTM. So anyway, now for the... You had the appetizer, now for the main course. Our final pack of 2016 Panini Torque. Dale Jr. on the cover of the wrapper and the box, of course. There are our... There are the... There are our... That sounds redundant. There are the odds. Or I shouldn't say odds. There are the print runs for all the different inserts, parallels, and so on and so forth that you can get. I know we have pulled... Carl Edwards dual relic card recently, and we had uh, a couple of uh, Hendrick driver relics and autos and so forth. So it looks like this one's going to have an auto, maybe. Is that it? Can't tell. So it looks like the auto's going to be right there, but we're going to start off with a purple Bubba Wallace 62 out of 125. That purple. And blue goes good with that Roush uniform that he was racing at the time. Get that one set off to the side. Get it sleeved up. Tony Stewart. That one looked nice signed in maybe a gold or a silver or some other color. And these just are not separating very well. Then we have a Matt Benedetto When he was driving for BK Racing. Of course, we all know that team... Uh, it was just a total disaster. Brad K. Or I'm sorry, Joey Logano. I seen the discount tire. I didn't even look at the name. Joey Logano. Xfinity Series. Of course, they split that ride. Blaney and Logano and Keselowski and a couple others, I think. Kyle Busch. Looking rather excited. He's only there so he doesn't get fined. John Hunter Nemechek. Looking like he's straight out of the junior high. Very young John Hunter Nemechek. He's still fairly young. But, uh, let's see here. What do we have here? I don't know if... They, they got these all jacked around, and I don't want to... Okay, that one's not going to be our autograph there. That's going to be one of those numbers, maybe? Shades. Yeah, we pulled a door number Brad K of one of these here not too long ago. And this one's going to be... This one will probably be numbered. One, oh, look at that. We got the front half of the door number, 14. 144 out of 199. What's the odds of us doing something like that? And then we have one of these nice acetate cards of Brad K. This one is not numbered. Superstar Vision. So now I don't know who our auto is going to be of. Kind of excited to see what we're going to get here. And had it upside down. I didn't see the name. Ooh, legend. Legendary autographs. Oh, wow. Daryl Waltrip. Legendary autographs. This is the first DW auto that I pulled. So we have a Daryl Waltrip. Trying to make sure it's not numbered. It does not appear to be numbered. That's really nice. So this box was... Uh, was very, very well done. Of course, Daryl did have a stint with Hendrick Motorsports, so I guess that's a kind of a tie-in. But this is when he was driving for Junior Johnson's team in 1983, that Pepsi Challenger. Of course, he had a horrible wreck in the Daytona 500 in 1983. Horrible concussion. He was uh, not sidelined, probably should have been. Today's NASCAR world, he would not have... Uh, would not have started probably the next three or four races for concussion protocol. Get that one sleeved up. I do have one or two DW autographs that I have purchased, but that's my first Daryl Waltrip autograph poll. So I'm very happy about that. You've seen the uh, Tony Stewart shades, almost a door number, 144 out of 199, and the Bubba Wallace, 62 out of 125, blue parallel. Very difficult to read that printing, but... Is what it is. Couple nice inserts, couple nice base cards there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Which cards did you like? Which cards did you not like? Uh, try to get on track. Got a few ideas I want to do for more videos. Give you guys a little bit more content. Might be throwing a few extra bonus. I talked about. Uh, if you go back and watch some of the other videos, I've started to slowly monetize the older videos on the channel. I might throw in a monetize, i call it a live video, but a new video here and there. Uh, just some projects I want to work on. Again, I don't want to, uh, 
you know, jump into the jump into the pool at the deep end. Just kind of, you know, I'm not going to become rich off of this. I don't want you guys to have to sit through ads and so on and so forth. But if I do do a monetized video, I'll be upfront about it and say, hey, this video is monetized, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. If I said Tuesday at the beginning, I apologize, but it will be a Wednesday drop on this video. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and we will see you tomorrow.